This is the third time we come here trying to photograph horned grepe. And we got some shots of them, but uh, the situation is now that uh, we are, have four nests in front of us. And uh, only one pair of adults have chicks. I think I saw two chicks on the back. I saw it. The grebes we have been watching in Lake Miva had a tough time early summer. The weather was quite cold until middle of June and uh, the nest making skills of the grebes were really tested. Especially in high winds. The water level in Lake Miva changes but the nest is floating protecting it against some predators. The mink is probably the main enemy of the horned grebe. Fur farmers imported the mink in Iceland in 1931 with devastating consequences for the bird life in some areas. In my experience horned grebes seems to be a good indicator for mink in some areas. It's interesting to see that once the youngs are out of the eggs and, uh, and uh, on the back of the parent, they leave the nest. One pair has uh, two chicks and uh, we've been watching them, feeding them. They, it's very cute how they, how they hide on the back of the parent. We thought they had just one chick, but suddenly they pop up another head. <laughs> so they have two on yeah. his back. Yeah. Grebes are special and amazing to watch. They carry their chicks on their back 
and feed them for the first few weeks. But it's uh, obviously they don't mind about us here. No. But we try to, we we're trying to not to stay for too long, and uh, we try to keep an eye on if if we think we are disturbing. I don't think we are, no. because they are quite far away. And, we, uh, we've been laying in this green close with this yes. on my head. I took it off. When I'm speaking with you. They are always turning the eggs around. Yeah. He stands up once in a while. Yeah. And does that. It's just a matter of time now when the chicks comes out of this nest, nest in front of us. Yeah, I think I think I saw four eggs. I was hoping <laughs> there was some bird coming out of the eggs. Reeves are skilled hunters. It seems they find sticklebacks easily. Swallowing them seems to be a bigger problem. The creeps are territorial, but watching them, it seems they allow chosen species to enter their territory. Some ducks and ducklings are welcome, but if other creeps dare to enter that territory, they will fight them. A tufted duck's duckling dare to enter the creeps' nest. Surprisingly, the creeps don't seem to care. They probably know that duckling means no harm. I still uh, watch the parents feed the chicks. One of them with the chicks on the back and the other one goes fishing. Yeah, and the parents have been so busy this morning. Always bringing grass and, and stuff, the green stuff, into mm. the nest. They also need to be constantly thinking about the nest yeah. and uh, adding something to it so it doesn't sink. And they are really calm, these birds. They're really really calm yes that's yeah. true and uh, that's i don't think we are disturbing them no. we, uh, we try to come here uh, a few times but short stay for a short time each time mm -hmm. maybe they are getting used to us <laughs> now it, it's turning the eggs yeah how cute the first time we came here, they were just starting. It's uh, early summer. It, the, the summer here in Iceland now started very cold, but we have had now we have had the warmest month in in uh, many many years. So uh, yeah. I think they have had a good season. Yeah. Most birds have had a good 
season this year. But uh, people are saying here in Mioswait the birds are two weeks later than usually yeah, with the eggs. Yeah, that's possible. Maybe that's why yeah. there are so few chicks now. Yeah, possibly because we had such a cold spring. Yeah. And June too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully we will get really warm. Yeah. It's important to be very careful when photographing nests. Most species are too sensitive for it to be ethical. Grebes are one of the very few species we find possible to take photos of at nesting sites, since some of them are not so shy of humans. The lenses we are using are 500mm and 300mm lenses with 1.7 and 2.0 teleconverters making the lenses reach up to 850 and 600 millimeters. It's good to keep in mind that it's impossible to photograph most bird species at nesting sites without disturbing them. Using long lenses for bird photography like this is not only benefiting better and sharper photos, long lenses also make it possible to take photos from a distance and, by doing so, not disturbing the birds. This is really important since most bird species are sensitive. In bird photography it's important to watch the bird's behavior you learn to recognize any signs of nervousness. If we notice birds getting nervous, we slowly back off and leave the area. We have been here for a little over an hour, and uh, I think that's enough. Yeah. I don't want to stay here too long. No, you will not disturb them. No, Longer but, today. But we should get back and be back here in maybe a few days. Yeah. One week or so. Maybe we'll go looking for Arctic forces now. Yeah. I'd <laughs> like to go searching for Arctic foxes for a few days and come back. I think they will have the chicks then. All of them will have chicks on their backs and they're feeding them. It's been amazing to see how they were when we came here just a little over an hour ago. All the birds were asleep more or less except the horned grippers. And uh, now we see some ducks coming in. And the people are waking up. Yeah. And I guess that means we should go have some coffee. Let's 